Delver. A little splash of green for Abrupt to gain the board for Geary. Nothing too fancy here. Oh, stuff we've seen before, yeah. that's for sure. There's only one Abrupt Decay that appears in, in Justin Geary's sideboard. A light touch. Just a light touch. A sprinkle. It looks like it's time to fire off a, an Abrupt Decay from Greg Mueller. Take care of that death right, Shaman. Greg with a death right of his own. Just going to pass the turn back. And Geary going to untap. He'll take a draw. You see, he's up a game. Both these players sitting at 5-1. and one. Mm -hmm. Going to play Underground C and a true name nemesis. The fun police is here. It's a good spot. It's good. Greg's hand just a stifle and a Numazo's Jitte. Not equipped to handle this card currently. If you've come to hum have fun, you have come to the wrong place. Well, someone's got to win the game and someone's got to lose the game. That's just the way it is. Well, you're not wrong about that. That's for sure. Mr. Reinforce going to get sacrificed here from Mueller. His hand is very, very weak right now. And his deck is also pretty weak to the old true name nemesis. He does have two copies of Liliana Veil pre-board. Taking a look at the sideboard, what Couple he can do. Couple of Gary Charms. Yeah. Bug decks, it's pretty, pretty stock now for bug decks. Yeah. Very versatile. Good answer to true name nemesis, among other cards. Doesn't have it right now. Got to find it. And we'll see if Mueller can do that. Again, his hand stifled him as I was in a land. Big draw coming. Hey, we saw one top deck. And one good top deck deserves another. Is that well, true? Greg, if Greg top decks here, all that happens is the game is allowed to proceed. Yeah. As opposed to Tyler Wilkerson's top deck, which was game over. You will lose. Greg Mueller, untap those lands. Take a draw, my friend. That's a Tarmogoyf. It's a really expensive card that can't block Trunian Nemesis. Well, the Tarmogoyf may prevent Justin from attacking with the Trunian Nemesis, so that's at least something. That's true. Especially if the thing grabs hold of a new as Jite. Yeah. Might be time to slow way down. And if there's a staring contest, it's pretty good for Greg. You know, he gets to activate his Death Rite Shaman and, and deal some damage. And maybe if he finds a second Tarmac Life, he can actually start attacking. We're really going to sacrifice Blue to Delta. We're going to go searching for a land here. We'll see which one he wants to get. Got a Singleton Trop, four Underground Seas. A couple copies of Bayou as well. It looks like he's going to go for the Trop with the Delta. It looks like he wants to deploy that Jite and then have a Stifle the Ready. I wonder if that playing the Jitte here is better than just leaving up Deathrite Shaman to activate. I also wonder, you know, he could also leave up the uh, the Pluto Adults in case he draws a Brainstorm. Right. That's the other thing, too. Doesn't feel like there's a big rush to get this Jitte into play, but maybe he's worried about discard spells. You see a Flusher Storm over there in Geary's hand. He's going to play a Pluto Delta, and he's just going to pass the turn back. So the brakes are on. Who's how Jitte will oftentimes do that. Looks like another Tarmogoyf was picked up here from Euler. All right. This game's changing. See, true name nemesis is not game over. You just need two Tarmogoyfs, and then <laughs> you're at, you're kind of, it's like you're kind of at parity. Yeah. <laughs> two four fives. Either going to go equipping, maybe? He's just going to pass the turn back. Yeah, again, in, in this spot, I just want to be activating the Death Rite Shaman. Here, you're going to sacrifice Pluto Delta. Going to get a land out of his deck. We'll see. Anything to do with that here? Looks like it's going to be underground. See, maybe. Could be a Tundra, and it will be. I'll give him three sources of white mana, three sources of blue, and then two sources of black for the Deathblade player. Again, the hand right now for Geary is a whole bunch of lands just to fluster storm. He needs a spell. Looks like he picked up a spell Pierce. Not you. Just going to play a Delta. Still waiting. Yeah. Though the spell Pierces and fluster storms may give him some amount of protection against the spells that answer true name nemesis. So even though those aren't great draws, they aren't necessarily bad for Justin in the long term. Let's him check his sideboard just to make sure he knows what's over there. Spell Pierce picked up here for Geary. He's going to equip Jite. He's going to attack. And of course, that thing's got to block the one with the Jite. So it looks like four damage is going to come across. Go ahead, Tarmogoyf. Yeah, see? Prove me wrong. You laugh and look. Here they come. They're not scared. Going to sacrifice Delta again. How do you feel about all this fetch land sacrificing? The Delta sacrificing feels a little preempted to me for a number of reasons. One, you might draw a Shuffler, and of course you'd rather have uh, th the fetch land in play if that happens, if you draw a Brainstorm or, so or something. Secondly, going from 11 to 10 is critical here because he's getting hit in increments of four from the Tarmogoyfs, and the Death Rite Shamans are two apiece. So four plus four plus two is 10, or four plus two plus two plus two. So that... That divide is significant here. It's not a free point of damage. 
Looks like Gary picked up a copy of Stoneforge Mystic. Looks like it may be time to cast that. There that is. So I imagine we're going to try to stifle this trigger here for Greg. Seems like a good idea. We're going to probably have a battle over this. There's a spell pierce. Death by Chaman plus a land can help pay for that. And then a fluster storm can help push that through. So that's exactly what's going to happen. I think this is important, too, because Deathrite Shaman's not activating to deal damage this turn. Yeah. I think that's the big deal. So Spell Pierce will get countered, and then he says that's still on the stack. I would like to Flusterstorm that. So that will take care of that. And now the Stoneforge trigger will resolve, and he gets to go digging. Not strictly necessary there for Justin to use the Spell Pierce first as... The Stoneforge Mystic, the Stifle, and then the Fluster Storm itself would have meant that Greg had to pay three mana. But he may be happy to ha cash in his Spell Pierce there to save himself two points of damage. And in this racing situation, that may be what ends up mattering here. Batter Skull going to go to the grip for Geary. Going to play a land, a Tropical Island, before passing the turn back. Over to Mueller, who has a Spell Pierce in his hand, and that's it at this point. But if that Batter Skull gets on the true name, I mean... That's we've, it. We've seen this before. Yeah. Either we're going to take a draw. Oof. A copy of Submerge. See how that weighs into things now. Submerge is pretty gutsy to bring in against Death I was Blade. thinking the same thing. I mean, he's paid off here. He has a tropical island. And I suppose worse comes to worse. He could be hard casting it, but... And the question is, is it worth it to submerge Stoneforge Mystic at this point? Deny a draw? Yeah, it's tough because if Justin has a land left over in his hand, he just gets to... Well, he gets to play the Batter Skull, I guess, in another case. So here's that. Free submerge. Take a look here. Oh, yeah, you have a forest, my friend. And I have plenty of violence. <laughs> so. I know it's just there to activate Deathrite Shaman's green ability, but this is happening. Greedy deck builders. And there that goes, right on top. Here come the Tarmogoyfs again. Got to block the same one. Down. He'll take four. It's going to go down to six. Again, we know about the spell pierce and the grip. We know what Geary's working with, too. So, draw the stone forge. Know about the batter skull and the strand. I'm curious now if Justin even has any lands to go get with that fetch land. That's a big question now. Mm -hmm. Four Tundra, four underground sea. Okay, he should be. He should have a land to go get. I was hoping this would be the bluff strand. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> go ahead, Spell Pierce. Did I have a land? Well, it uh, looks like he might. Yeah, show me a land. All right, so, sacrifice this. Go down to five. It looks like Justin's going to just be just barely able to hang on here. Going to five, he can survive the two Death Red Shaman activations. He can block the two Tarmogoyves and then get Batter Skull onto the True Day Nemesis, but he's got to fade a big draw from Greg right now. Yeah, removal spell like Abrupt Decay gets the job done, right? Yeah, nearly anything. Yeah. Any removal spell. Another copy of a card like Submerge. Golgari Charm. I mean, a, a wide number of draws win the game from here. Well, let's see what it's going to be. The Spell Pierce is not what he was looking for. That is not it. Mueller going to assess the board now. And he knows he's one term away from that Trinity Nemesis picking up a batter skull. And it becomes very hard to win then. That's for sure. And then if that Stoneforge Mystic gets replayed, then Justin has Lily onto the Veil insurance. Batter skull going onto the Trinity Nemesis means that he has Golgari Charm insurance. Mm -hmm. So Greg's ways to get out from under this diminish quite a bit. The windows are closing. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. And Justin at three. I mean, he is just barely holding on here. I'm trying to figure out, can I attack with these Tarmogoyce? What does that do? Well, I guess I get to kill your Batter Skull token, but you get to gain four life. And, you know, the living, the living weapon token doesn't even really matter all that much in the grand scheme of things. That's the big issue here. Yeah, he's going to turn sideways. 
And he says, I'm going to block the one on the Jite here. Do that there. Going to gain my four life. Going to go up to seven. Seven is pretty comfortable. Yeah. Uh, this attack is great for Justin, too. It's essentially a free four life because almost certainly what was happening next turn is Barrow Skull was moving over to the Trudy Nemesis mm -hmm. anyway. This is true. And Mueller just taking a look at that spell, Pierce, wishing it was something else. Anything else. Just has to pass the turn back. Geary's going to untap very, very quickly here. Got to imagine he knows he's in the driver's seat. He gets to draw a card. It's a copy of Wasteland. Not a huge draw there. But more importantly, his good friend Trunian Nemesis is ready to go. Yeah, we'll open up the action here with the Stoneforge Mystic just to see what's going on with Greg's hand. But almost certainly this ends with Batter Skull going on to Trunian Nemesis. And... That's what he's going to do. He's going to start with Stoneforge. A pretty quick thumbs up here from Justin. It's time to go digging for equipment. That's going to be a sort of feast and famine. So another equipment here for Geary and a good one in this matchup. Doesn't really need the help, but if he didn't have Trini Nemesis, it would certainly be quite good. Yes. The most critical thing for Justin to do right now is just make sure that he keeps himself protected from Edic effects. That's mm -hmm. the one way you could conceive of Gray getting out of the spot. True name has a batter skull equipped to it. In for seven we go. Geary's going to go up to 14. Mueller's going to go down to 11. Just has to pass the turn back. Going to activate Death Right Shaman. We'll see if it's going to be a drain or a gain. It looks like it's going to be a drain. Geary's going to go down to 12. Greg does have a course hand grip in his sideboard too, and that would undo a lot of this damage. Wasteland does not. No. And neither does Spell Pierce. It's a tough way to lose a match when you are basically basically playing for top eight here. Yeah. One point of damage away. A, a number of things. I mean, if Justin doesn't even have a land, he needs the seventh land to be able to play Batter Skull and play it through the spell pier. So yep. a lot of things need to go right here for Justin, but Greg's outs are dwindling here. He does, again, have a Crozan grip that pulls up the Batter Skull that lets him get some breathing space here, but Golgari Charm no longer effective. Liliana the Veil no longer effective. A lot of outs being closed off. And of course, every non-Tombstalker creature does very close to zero. Just going to pass the turn back over to Geary. Those Tarmogoids can't do anything in the face of Trunay Nemesis. Going to draw a card. Geary going to rearrange some mana here. Looks like it's time to put in Sword of Feast and Famine through the old Stone Forge. Going to equip the true name. Like that thing needs any more weapons. He's got an extra arm left over. <laughs> Gonna bash it. Fish have arms? It's a merfolk. I think it's got arms in the artwork. Thanks. Let's so double too. check. In for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. It's the art letting you know that you're supposed to put equipment on it. Ah, yes, yes. That makes sense to me now. So a sword trigger here is gonna take place in just a moment. Yeah, it's got a knife in its hand. What's a fish need a knife for? It's, a, it's effectively already equipped with Lean and Scimitar. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's actually a 2-0, but <laughs> since it has the Scimitar, yeah. that's why it's, it's a 3-1. Yeah, see, it makes sense. It makes sense now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So some triggers here, some life gain there. Unfortunately for Greg Mueller, I think he's going to get one more draw step this game as Geary did draw another copy of True Name Nemesis. And now Crozan Grip doesn't even provide any protection mm, here. Nope. Oh, Wasteland going to take down the Bayou. Deathrite's going to go active. It's going to do a little bit of draining here. Going to knock Geary down to a cool 19. Let's see if he wants to drop down true name number two, and he will. So in what was a very, very close game here when we started, ends very, very one-sided here in favor of Justin Geary. A ponder will give... Mueller, another look. He's going to see two lands and a ponder. Yeah, don't get too hung up on this board. This game was real close. Mm -hmm. Greg was one point of damage away, and Justin was one mana short away of Greg going on to a third game here. But Going to ponder again. Going to shuffle here. Going to essentially on no outs at this point. All the windows we've talked about, they've been closed. Yeah, he had Crozan grip here for a couple turns to try to restabilize the game, but that's pretty far gone. Yeah. Mystery card coming with a ponder after Gary does shuffle the deck. And Mueller will likely get to see one more card this game. 
Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think it's a thumbs down. Justin Geary going to win this match over Greg Mueller. Two games to zero. Deathblade, take it down over Bug Delver. Six and one now. Trinidad assists, even with all the Lilianas and Golgari trying to get on your sideboard, it's still going to be good against you some percentage of the time if your deck is fundamentally about tacking on the grounds, and that's what we saw that game. Yeah, you better have the right answers at the right time, because if you don't, it's lights out. Yep. And that's exactly what it was this go-around. So, my friends, we bring it back to the booth.